So welcome back to another video in the series about building a home. So in this video, we're going to talk about windows, we're going to talk about doors, and we're going to talk about a few cleanup items that will take place all at the same time. So let's start this out talking about windows, doors, and how those get put in the house. So in this particular build, this is the same house that we just filmed the roof video on, and they have put the windows in. So this opening that is between here and here, that is called a rough opening. So that rough opening means that the window should fit in and it should go in without a whole bunch of, of adjustments. Now, in some circumstances, some particular types of windows may additionally require a shim to go in and that's perfectly fine. But the main thing is you want these windows to be able to slide freely up and down. Now, these windows happen to be argon filled. Other windows may be just natural, less expensive windows than what these are. Others go to the far extreme, but the bottom line is whatever windows you choose to put in your home is what they will install and this is the general process that takes place. And we'll shoot outside to show how they attach up. Now, let's step back and let's look at this larger window that hasn't been put in yet. So it comes with this edge here that slides into the opening and then this attaches to the outside of the house. And again, we'll cover that on the outside details once we see that. So this is a really, really simple process, but it's really important that it be done properly. Otherwise, the windows won't open and close properly. Now additionally, when you're building a home, be aware that they may open the windows. Also be aware that windows do get broken in the process of building a home. Just be aware that that will get fixed later. They won't fix it right away because something else might bump into it and break it. Once you get to this stage, the house starts to dry in and all of a sudden it really, really starts to take shape. Sliding glass doors. Uh, get put in the same way the windows do. It will also come fitting into this rough opening. Now, very difficult to get large spans absolutely correct. So they may come in again and put shims in to make that uh, have a tight fit. Bottom line again, make sure that the door can open and close without any difficulties. So now let's talk about what happens when they install the exterior doors, you know, the actual steel doors in the house. So now we're standing where the steel door is going to come in from the garage into this home. So this opening has been framed out. And if you remember from prior videos, you have your king stud, you have your jack studs, you have your headers. This has been framed out to whatever the manufacturer's uh, rough opening is for this door. Now one solid unit will come in. It'll include the frame, it'll include everything that's needed. They'll slide that in and now doors specifically definitely get shimmed up. These are just small pieces of wood that make it fit tight into the rough opening. Now important, very, very, very rarely are there shims in the upper part of the door. I'm not saying it's improper if it has to go in, but typically they will frame down to the rough opening that is needed as opposed to putting in shims because that could pull the door off, create a problem with the seal. So now let's go on and let's talk about some of the cleanup items that will take place at the same time that the windows go in, the doors go in, etc. So while we're finishing up here on the inside, the framing punch will start taking place. And all a framing punch is, is where a superintendent or a supervisor comes out and they start looking at how the framing was put together, any adjustments that need made. When there's this many studs that go into a house, things will happen, it's okay. Additionally, once the house is all dried in and the lumber starts to uh, lose its moisture content, sometimes you will get changes that will occur within lumber. It just happens. So standing it, or right here behind me, you'll see a stud that definitely has a definite bow to it. 
Now, when that stud was put in, it was put in and it was straight. But because it lost its moisture content, it then warped and created this big bow. This stud will get replaced as part of the framing punch. So also, as part of the framing punch, the blocking will start to go in. This is what attaches drywall in the corners, various places where the drywall comes together to a, to a corner. So blocking, all that is is just a surface for the drywall to get attached to. Now, this is one of my personal uh, uh, pet peeves, is lack of blocking in a home. It's so important that these things get taken care of because once the house settles later on, that drywall will crack and move and those things if the blocking is not done properly. So as promised, we came outside now to finish up on these exterior windows. So the particular windows on this part of the house have a flange and you can see how my finger fits back in there. That's where vinyl siding is gonna go on this house and the siding will come under it and, and create this little J channel for the siding to sit in. This is how they nail these windows into place. You can see the nails here on the bottom. Then you'll notice that there's a flashing tape that's put on the exterior sides of the windows, but not on the bottom. This flashing tape goes from all the way at the top where it laps over so that water will flow past it then it comes down on the sides and seals up those windows and creates not only a, a water seal but also an air barrier so that the house stays nice and warm and doesn't leak air. So now let's go around to a different, slightly different kind of window, same house, but it's around on the front of this house and we'll show the differences between where vinyl siding comes in and where trim will come in. So same house, but very, very slight difference on the windows that are gonna go on the front of this house. The front of this house will get wood trim that comes up against as opposed to the vinyl siding. Now, you'll notice this window has a flat edge. That flat edge, instead of the vinyl siding coming in like we were talking about, this accommodates a, a wood trim that will go on this house after it finishes up. I hope you enjoyed this video about the windows and doors. Just be aware that it, proper installation of these items is important to avoid the drafts in the winter and losing the cool in the summer. I hope you're enjoying the entire series about building a home as well. 